Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackGear.com, and today I'm going to show you what I believe are the nine best full-face motorcycle helmets from $350 to $600. This is our third installment in our spring 2020 full face helmet buying guide. Internally, we have dubbed this tier the premium tier for good reason. There are nine kick ass helmets on this table in front of me right now. Myself and my staff got together and we hand selected these from all of the helmets we offer at this given price point as being the best options we have available. If you don't see it on the table, the bottom line is it simply did not make the cut. Our name is Sport Bike Track Gear. Our focus is sport riding, sport riding on the street, sport riding at track days, and of course, road racing. For any of those styles of riding, a full face helmet is your option, which is going to be the topic of this video. There's a couple of things that I want to share with you before we dive into the head to head comparisons. The nine helmets here, while they're all full face, I do want to subdivide these one time. Any helmet that offers a drop down inner screen in it, to me, is a different product than a traditional full face helmet that does not. We shot a little video explaining what makes those helmets different. It's not just the drop down inner, it changes the dynamics of the helmet a little bit. Caleb's going to provide a link. If you want to hear that, just click on it. It's a couple minutes long, it'll run that down for you, okay? Helmet fit. We talk about that all the time because it is the single most important thing when it comes to a motorcycle helmet's ability to protect you, and it also dictates how well the helmet's going to perform while you're wearing it. It has to fit correctly. We strongly encourage you to watch the sizing videos that we have. We show you how to take a measurement and use the size chart. Take a good measurement. Make sure you look at the manufacturer's size chart to help yourself choose the right size the first time. The reality is if a helmet does not fit you properly, it cannot protect you as designed. The whole reason you're wearing the helmet is to protect yourself in the event of a crash. Helmet performance is also dramatically impacted by how well it fits. If the helmet is too big, you do a head check, you look over your shoulder, the wind is going to blow the helmet and it's going to obstruct your vision, right, if it's too big. You get into a tuck, it's going to ride too low on the brow, it's going to obstruct your vision. That reduces safety. Now, other performance aspects that are affected are going to be road noise and ventilation. If the helmet does not seal correctly around the base of your skull and your neck, it is going to be overly loud and distracting while riding. None of those things are pleasant, so please check out the helmet sizing video. When I come back, we're going to dive in to the six full face helmets we have in this group. Okay, now let's dive into the six traditional full face helmets. Each one of these is street and racetrack worthy if you want to use it in one or both environments, okay? Let's introduce the players. The all new Arai Region X, the Bell Star MIPS DLX, the HJC ARF 11 Pro, look at this glorious Captain America graphic, the new Scorpion EXO R1 Air, equally kick ass Fabio graphic, the Shoei RF1200. Rounding it out, we have the Shoei RFSR helmet. Each one of these helmets has features and benefits they kind of share in common. And then there are things, of course, where they separate from one another. Let's open up with the stuff they share in common. All the helmets in this price group are using some sort of fiberglass or, or carbon or composite shell material. No injection molded shells in this price tier. Every one of these helmets uses a double D-ring retention system in the chin strap area. All six of these helmets have pockets behind the cheek pads to allow for installation of universal Bluetooth devices. Each one of these helmets runs true to size with their respective size chart while offering what is for the most part an intermediate oval interior shape. We'll focus more on nuances between fit comparing each one of the helmets as we go. Glasses compatibility. If you like to wear sunglasses under your helmet or you need to wear prescription eyewear, glasses compatibility is a big deal. 
of all the helmets on the table right now, only one wasn't really good with that, and it was the Shoei RF 1200. I had more of a difficult time getting the glasses in, and when I did, they just really wouldn't rest nicely on the bridge of my nose. I used the same pair of glasses for each one of the helmets. Not a total train wreck, just not as good as the others. When I come back, we're going to be focusing on each individual helmet, and I'll share with you its details and what separates it from the other five. The Arai Region X. This sells from 494 to 620, solids to graphics. It weighs 3.45 pounds in a size medium on our shipping scale. It is Snell as well as DOT certified. Uses five different shell sizes. Runs true to size. Its real strength for me is the way it fits and feels once you have it on. I would dare say this could be the best fitting Arai for an intermediate oval head form they have currently. And that's really saying something. They worked on dialing in the fit and the on-off effort of this helmet. That's another area where this really shines. The effort and the smoothness, putting this on and taking this off is an absolute home, home run. If you're sensitive to that, that makes this a great choice for you. Part of the way they get there, right, is a little bigger opening and then they have designed the cheek pads to kind of cradle underneath your jaw and just really hold everything in place. Excellent job. Ventilation system is solid. Two intakes up here on the crown, two here in the shield, down here in the chin bar, exhaust vents under the diffuser, as well as Venturi style exhaust here and exhaust ventilation here through the bottom of the neck roll. I've not had the opportunity to ride in this helmet, like I said in the review we did for it. A good friend of mine, John Ulrich, editor of Road Racing World Magazine, he rode in this extensively at their press launch in Japan. He said it was hot and they had a monsoon. He really enjoyed the ventilation, the field of vision, and he said on the way back in the monsoon, it sealed up real nice. He didn't have any water intrusion in the helmet, which is something that he really enjoyed. Another important note with this one is it ships with a clear helmet shield on it, but does not include the pin lock insert. If that's something you're interested in for that true fog-free performance, you're going to need to purchase the insert separately. The Bellstar MIPS DLX. This sells from 525 to 579. It weighed 3.7 pounds on our shipping scale in a size medium. It is Snell as well as DOT certified uses six independent shell sizes, which is the most of any of the helmets that we have here in this grouping. Fit. Of all the helmets on the table, this one felt it's intermediate oval, right? It feels just a, a, a touch narrow. I don't have any problem. I've worn it quite a bit. You know, I had one that I wore for a long time. I really like the fit, right? but it is just a little narrow up here in the crown area. So if you know you lean a little bit to the rounder side, this may not be the right fit for you, okay? Things it offers that you don't see with the others. This comes with their Pro Tint Shield. It reacts to sunlight. It goes from clear to almost dark smoke automatically. That's something that I have used extensively and I gotta tell you, that is a great, option on the helmet, really like it quite a bit. This also includes the MIPS slip plane. This goes between the EPS of the helmet and the actual liner, and what it does is it helps to reduce rotational energy in an impact, right? It just simply makes the helmet safer, and it's nice to see that technology kind of infused into this. Ventilation system on this helmet. I've ridden this one quite a bit. It is excellent. Brow vent intake, Intake up here on the crown, intake here in the chin bar of the helmet, exhaust vents up here on the top of the crown, back here in the diffuser, right? A little bit here down in the base of the neck roll and right here. This helmet is also one of the most quiet full face helmets that ventilates at this level that I've ridden in. If you can't tell, I really enjoy the riding experience in this Bellstar MIPS. The HJC Arfa 11 Pro. This one retails from 359 to 539. The reason for the big spread is you've got your solid colors and then you have higher end graphics like you see here with the Captain America. Those are gonna to be towards the more spendy end. This helmet weighed 3.1 pounds in a size medium on our digital shipping scale. They use three independent 
shell sizes, has an intermediate oval head shape. The fit as compared to the other helmets, this one is just a touch to the looser side, right? Has a nice, easy on-off effort, feels really comfortable when you have it on. Ventilation system, we have an intake vent up here in the brow, two on top in the crown, intake vent here in the chin bar area, right here as well. Exhaust is managed through this diffuser, and then Venturi style vents right here. This is a helmet that I have ridden in quite a bit. I really like this helmet. I love the value that it brings. It includes a clear as well as a dark smoke screen, centrally located shield lock, which is very nice. Also includes for fog-free performance, a pin lock insert. If that's something that you ride in those conditions, this includes that as a full package. A lot of value with this and a really good overall riding experience. The certification for this helmet is ECE and DOT. Next up, the Scorpion EXO R1 Air. $399 to $459. Weighs 3.3 pounds in a size medium on our shipping scale. Three independent shell sizes. Certification is both ECE and DOT. Intermediate oval head shape fits true to size. This includes their AirFit cheek pad system, right? So you get the helmet on, you're like, man, I just wish it was just a little snugger in that area. I really like my helmets tight. Give that a couple pumps, it dials in the fit. That is a cool feature. They've had that on several of their models for a number of years, and it's proven to be very effective. This helmet ships complete with a dark smoke shield, a clear shield, as well as a pin lock insert. I've ridden in this helmet for two days last fall. I got a pre-production, I got a European model I got to ride in, and I gotta tell you, I love this helmet. It performs really well, it provides a tremendous amount of value with the ads that it comes with, but also its performance is excellent. The helmets that Fabio is racing in, in MotoGP, right? I took the time to investigate all this. They are the same essentially the same exact helmet that you're buying here. There are some slight differences. Only one shell size has been FIM homologated. The one that's been FIM homologated, as I understand it, is identical to the ECE only version sold in Europe. To pass DOT, they had to make some very minor modifications to the, to the helmet, right? To get it to pass the DOT as well, very minor. So you're buying essentially the same product it provides a tremendous riding experience, excellent ventilation. We have intakes, vents up here on the top, down here in the chin bar as well. All your exhaust vents are back here on the top, Venturi style, and back here underneath the diffuser. Real sexy shape, this thing was slippery in the air, and it was relatively quiet for how well it ventilated. The Shoei RF1200. This one retails from 485 to 589, solid, to graphics. It is both Snell and DOT certified. It weighed 3.5 pounds in size medium on our shipping scale. Show is using four independent shell sizes with the RF1200. Ventilation. Intake vents up here on the crown, here in the brow, here in the chin. Your exhaust ventilation is managed through the switchable vent back here in the diffuser. Intermediate oval head shape offers a good comfortable fit with a reasonable on-off effort. The ships with a clear shield that includes the pin lock insert, includes the breath deflector, and there is also included a replaceable uh, chin curtain for the helmet as well. With Shoei, right, and this 1200, the biggest thing you're getting, right, is quality. Quality of engineering and quality of assembly. This one, as compared to all the other helmets on the table, absolutely has the best fit, finish, feel of vents, and just that overall build quality. We're not talking massive moves here. You know, it's a small difference because these are all really good products, but that's where Shoei shines. Their quality is absolutely amazing. This helmet has been a staple in our catalog, right, for many years. I think this one is one that at some point we are going to see a new model introduced probably by 2021. The Shoei RFSR helmet. 
Retail is $399, available only in solid colors. This is the entry level showy helmet. It is both Snell and DOT certified. It weighs 3.65 pounds in a size medium on our shipping scale. Like with the RF1200, Showy is using four independent shell sizes with this helmet. When I compare this to the other helmets on the table, right, you know, this one is, you know, it just, let's be real, it's just not as sexy, okay? The whole point with this helmet is going to be getting that showy quality at a very affordable price point. You know, with that said, there are some trade-offs too, you know? The ventilation system on this helmet would be the most basic on the table. Sure, it's going to be adequate, once again, still the most basic on the table. Has a very comfortable fit, intermediate oval head shape, with a relatively easy on-off effort. It ships with a clear shield that also includes the pin lock insert for true fog-free performance. When I see this, this is going to be for the type of the rider that's looking for a very high quality, more of a basic full face helmet design. They want something that is going to last them and perform well for many years to come. I think it's rather evident, you know, that if you're the rider who likes a little more flash or more ventilation or, you know, you're more sport oriented, you know, you can look at a couple other offerings that are right in that same exact price point here in the EXO R1 Air and then of course the HJC R11 Pro and you're just going to kind of get more for your money with these two helmets if you're that type of hardcore sport rider. Now let's focus on the three helmets that include the drop down inner screen. And introducing the players, we have the HJC ARFA 70 ST helmet, retails from 359 to 566, solids, you know, up to some of the Marvel graphics. We have the Scorpion ST1400 carbon helmet. This one is from 399 to 429. And then to bring it home, we have the Shark Spartan 1.2 helmet. That one retails from 369 to 449. Just as with the other full face helmets, there's some things these helmets share in common with one another, and then areas where they separate. We'll start with what they share in common. As with the other full face helmets, each of these helmets uses either a carbon or a fiberglass composite shell. There are no injection molded plastic shells on the table in front of me right now. Each one of them uses a double D-ring retention system. They all offer what is basically an intermediate oval head shape and these two run true to size with their respective size chart. The HJC, what I found with this one is this helmet tends to run small. I measure 58 centimeters on the money and typically wear a size medium. The medium in this one was definitely leaning towards the snug side. I got the fit I would anticipate from this style helmet from a size large. Use that in conjunction with the information HJC provides in their size chart to help choose the best size if you're interested in this one. Bluetooth communicator device compatibility. Each one of these has pockets behind the cheek pads to accept the speakers, which will allow you to install said device. Glasses compatibility. All three of these helmets did an excellent job allowing for eyewear to be slid in, whether it's sunglasses, which you really wouldn't wear under a helmet with a uh, drop down inner, or prescription eyewear, they all did a great job. When I come back, we're gonna focus on each independent model and the features that make it stand out. The HJC ARFA 70 ST. This one weighed 3.4 pounds in a size large on our shipping scale. They use three different shell sizes, intermediate oval head form, it is ECE as well as DOT certified. When I look at this helmet, you know, the thing that really makes it stand out from the other two on the table, like I said, all great options, it's going to be the fact that HJC has went to great lengths to bring a lot of air into this helmet, to really build a lot of ventilation into a helmet with a drop down inner screen. You have a large centrally located intake vent up here. You have two vents here in the chin, one up high, and another switchable one right down here at the very base of the chin. Then you have these Venturi style extractor vents right here, okay? I mean, this, this is really cool. You bring the airflow in in this area and it's gonna work to essentially suck heat and moisture up 
and then eject it out the back of the helmet. Additional exhaust ventilation is found right here in the back of the lid. So lots of ventilation built into that. When you see all these vents, you know, kind of protruding out from the helmet, as you see here, what you do want to expect too is perhaps just a little bit more wind noise than you're going to find with the other two. I haven't ridden with this one, right? The only one of these three that I've ridden with is going to be the Scorpion. I did some laps in that helmet, you know. That would be a trade-off for all the additional ventilation. And if you're a rider that's looking for that ventilation, you probably already understand that's normally how it is. Ships with a clear shield. It's got a centrally located shield lock, which is something I really like. Also includes the pin lock insert for true fog-free performance. If I had any real knock for this, you know, and I don't even know that this is a problem, there is a detent when this is all the way in the up position, so it can't cheat its way down. You know, but just the action, it's just, it's so smooth and there's no detent at the full down position. I highly doubt it walks or anything like that. Just a very smooth action. Maybe would have liked to have seen a detent added there at the very end. The Scorpion ST1400. This weighed 3.2 pounds in a size medium on our shipping scale. They're using three different shell sizes. Obviously carbon fiber shell construction with this. Nice true intermediate oval head shape, fits true to size. This helmet is ECE as well as DOT certified. And just, I, this is a sexy helmet, right? This is a good looking helmet offering a drop down inner sun shield. It includes a chin curtain, large chin curtain to really help seal the wind in this area. I've ridden this helmet, it ventilates well. You got a big intake vent up here on the top. Intake vent down here in the chin. Your exhaust vents are all managed through the back of the helmet here in the diffuser area, right? Good ventilation, rather quiet performance. Really enjoyed this helmet quite a bit. And it includes the AirFit cheek pad system. If you're finding yourself wanting it a little snugger here in the cheek pad area, you just give that bulb a couple of pumps. There's a release valve right next to it. And it allows you to adjust the fit of the helmet. That is a pretty damn cool feature. Here is the switch to actuate that drop down inner. This does have a detent both top and bottom if that's something that's important to you. This helmet ships with an Everclear fog free treated clear shield. Scorpion is famous for having some of the best, if not the absolute best, fog free treated shields in the business. If you want an even higher level of fog free performance, they've included a pin lock ready shield along with a Pinlock Max Vision insert. So you can have your, your choice there, or you can just, when you wear the one shield out, if there's you know too many rock chips or something in it, you can just go ahead and install the other clear shield, a little value add. The Shark Spartan 1.2, 3.35 pounds in a size medium on our shipping scale. Shark uses two shell sizes with this. It is DOT only certified. With Shark, one of the added benefits you get is additional aerodynamic engineering and design. They work hard to make their helmets as quiet and as stable in the wind as possible while preserving a good amount of ventilation. This one has an intake vent centrally located up here on the top of the helmet. Vent here in the chin. And then your exhaust ventilation is all managed back here underneath the diffusers. These accents, as well as this, and the overall shape of the helmet are all designed to help get this thing to cut through the wind to be stable and quiet. Optically correct shield, ships with a pin lock insert included. Nice strong detents. The drop down switch is centrally located here and you can see that kind of has the longest travel. It's just a different design at the end of the day, right? The longest travel and it does have detents when it's up as well as when it's in the downward position. A really good, comfortable fit from this helmet. It feels great when you have it on. And I would say the interior shape, while it's largely intermediate oval, it might lean just a touch to the round side. Another added benefit you get with Shark is this is just not something everyone has, right? It's a French company and you can see that in their styling cues. It just stands out from the rest. If you're one of those riders that finds yourself wanting something different, you can trust this is a quality package that offers excellent performance. With this, as well as the other videos that we have now in our 2020 spring full face helmet guide, hope you guys see we're really working hard to help you choose 
the right helmet for yourself the first time. Saves you time, saves you money. If you have any questions, just leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself, and I'm here to help you get the most from your next helmet.